Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are discussing the biggest Ninjago news drop in about six months. It looks like the Ninjago drought is finally coming to an end. We now have uh, pretty official looking images of the winter 2022 wave. And this is not a season 16 wave. This is not a show related wave. A Lego designer confirmed that this Ninjago core wave is kind of meant to just exemplify the ideas of Ninjago without really being tied to a season or part of the show. So yes, this is not related to season 16. I'm guessing we'll see show sets later in the year, whether it be in March or June. Uh, but yeah, this is the core wave. We're gonna take a look at every set except the J set uh, because we took a look at that last night. And the first set is going to be the temple, the dojo temple set. This looks to be the biggest set of the wave. It's very impressive in my opinion. I don't think this idea is really anything too crazy, unique, or original. A lot of people are making connections to the Season 3 Temple of Fortitude set. I definitely agree. This set is very, very reminiscent of that, but it's good. I mean, it's definitely a nice looking set. I really like the green roofs, the big red doors with shurikens as handles, and the various levels of the temple as the roofs get bigger as you go down. Overall, I think that is very cool. Towards the bottom, you see this rocky area, as well as a bridge. I think this bridge is a really nice element. On the left side of this image, you see that bridge, which goes down to another kind of island with a yellow tree. Overall, I think that is a very nice design element. At the bottom right, you see the red mech. This is definitely for Kai. And then to the right of the island with the tree on it, there's this small vehicle with wheels. This is a vehicle of some sorts for the villains. As for minifigures, it looks like in this set we get Kai, Wu, Lloyd, Nia. Yes, Nia is here. But again, this is probably not a show-related wave, so this doesn't really suggest anything. Anyways, we also get Cole. We get Pixel. This is great. Pixel is finally back. I don't think she's been in a set since 2018. And then we get two villains, one orange, one darker. Next up is the Ninja Combo Mech, another incredible set. Whereas the Dojo Temple I don't think is super original, this one definitely is. I mean, this is a very cool idea. The idea is that these four separate elements combine to form this one big mech. So a mini mech for Kai, a jet for Jay, and then two land vehicles for Cole and Zane, as you see over here. Overall, I think this is a great idea. I mean, I think it's super cool how you can deconstruct the set into its various parts. Or alternatively, you could have it like this where it's just this one giant mech. That, that's a super cool idea. Uh, towards the bottom left, you see another sort of darker structure. This is some sort of villain vehicle. And then this set, it does appear to come with, of course, the four ninja. And then there are two villains. Next up is Lloyd's car. This one is, it's fine. It's In terms of its structure, it seems to be the exact same as Jay's car, which if you want to see that, feel free to check out last night's video. Uh, but yeah, I mean, one thing we're going to see in this video is that there are kind of like these duplicate sets where in overall it looks like the same set, but just different colors uh, for different ninja. So this is Lloyd's car. You see a lot of these green colors, light green, darker green, a lot of gold pieces at the back and uh, the sides. Also a small villain car on the left. Uh, I'm going to say what I said about Jay's car. There's no doubt that this is a well-made set. It is. I mean, it looks good. It's just not interesting. We've had so many cars and vehicles as of late. Uh, Lloyd himself has had a car before. He had the Ninja Nightcrawler, which I think is probably better than this car. I don't entirely remember a season eight car, but we've had a Lloyd car before. I don't know if we necessarily needed to have another Lloyd car. Perhaps they could have gone with Zane for a car instead. Uh, there's a ton of Lloyd vehicles in this wave, which is uh, a lot, a lot. There's three or three sets rather, not necessarily vehicles. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's a good set. It just doesn't interest me too much. Next up is another Lloyd set. This is going to be his dragon. I have to say this is definitely a, a very nice looking dragon, actually. The wigs are definitely a highlight here. The wigs are super detailed. I love the shapes and patterns that they put on here. I think overall it's really good. Uh, also the colors. I like this deep shade of green. It's really nice. I like how they use these darker, uh, darker versions of green here. We see the head, uh, we can't really get a great angle of the head in this image, but you do see a tongue. This was also a design element on Zippy. Uh, Zippy also had that red tongue sticking out. Also some gold on the, on the neck and the head as well. 
Uh, I don't really have too much else to say about this set. It's good. I think it's better than um, the car or more interesting rather, not necessarily better. And it comes with the two villains, Nia and of course, Lloyd himself. And now we're getting into these smaller sets. Here we have Kai's EVO Fire Dragon. My opinion, uh, not that good. It's not terrible or anything, but it's, well, it, it's a small dragon. And personally, I'm not the biggest fan of these small dragons. I think there are instances where uh, lower priced dragons do work very well. The Overlord Dragon is, uh, is an example of that. But then again, the Overlord Dragon is, what, $30? This is probably around the 10, 15 range, not sure. Um, it's not that good in my opinion. It's very small. Uh, I like the colors. I mean, that's a good thing. I like the gold. I like the red, the orange. The head is pretty good. But I don't think this is necessarily a set that I would want to get. Um, I don't think it's horrible, but it, it just, it's not the kind of set that I'd be getting probably. Uh, Kai comes with the set, as do two villains. And then we're going to see a very similar version of that set for Jay. This one I think is worse. The wigs are shorter, as you see on the box. They don't stretch out as much. And I, I, I don't think that the wigs are necessarily proportionate for this set. I think that they probably should be bigger, like they are the Kai Dragon. As for the colors, it's very basic. It's just this one shade of blue from head to tail. And then some yellow worked in throughout the set, on the wigs, on the head, on the lower jaw. That's fine. I, I don't have an issue with the colors too much. But I think it would have been nice if they'd mix it up maybe with some different shades of blue throughout the body. And then this set again coming with a uh, villain and Jay. And then we're going to see a Zane uh, powered mech. Again, not that great. Once the mechs get under $20 or so, I think they definitely start to decline. There are some cool features here though. I do like the translucent blue shredder, which is on one of Zane's arms. Also like the variation of color, gold, a bit of gray, a bit of blue, and the flag, which we're gonna talk about more because these flags kind of appear to be collectibles of this wave. So yeah, this set is all right, comes with Zayd and the snake. Last but not least is the Junior's Lloyd Beck. Earlier this year, Jay's Electra Beck, also a four plus set, was released, and it was pretty much mocked by everyone. This set is not as bad, but it is pretty close. Um, it's, it's just got these, uh, the classic Junior Mech features with a, uh, oversized torso, tiny legs, uh, no real head area. Yeah, that, that is the set. The colors are good. I mean, if, if I had to say one thing about one thing about the set that's good, then it is that the colors are nice. But then again, green is my favorite color. Comes with this snake and a Lloyd minifigure. In this image, we get a very clear look at the core ninja suits. Overall, I think these are pretty good. Uh, it's a very elemental yet simplistic feel. And I think that's fine. I think that's fine for what they're going for here. For some reason, Coles isn't in this image. Uh, just realizing that right now. But definitely some of these suits are better than others. Lloyd and Nia's are the best of my opinion. Kai's is probably the worst. It's very flat looking. It's not terrible though. I like how odd Jay's and um, also on Kai's and re really actually all of them. I like how the headbands on the ninja masks, they're going for different colors here. Uh, in the past, they, they usually use these Traditional colors, I think usually Lloyd has a darker green headband, but they're going for different colors here, and I think that's a great idea. And yeah, also uh, you see that each of these ninja are holding a flag with a pretty cool design. These are kind of like the collectibles, and I gotta say, they're not the most interesting collectibles ever, but that's okay. It's, it's, not, um, it's not a huge problem, you know? Overall, I think these suits are good, but they're not the best ever. And I think in general, the same can be said about this wave. This is a good, but not super memorable wave. And part of the reason why is that it's not tied to a TV season or installment in the show. I'm not saying that this core idea is bad. That's not the point I'm trying to make. But because it's not part of the show, I think it's significantly less exciting because it doesn't really fuel uh, too much speculation about season 16. Last year, we got the season 14 sets. The year before, we got the season 12 sets. And those were examples where, you know, those were really our first looks at those seasons. And this, I think it's definitely possible. I think the designer even mentioned that we'll see elements of these in shorts, but shorts oftentimes aren't canon, so it's not really the same as the show. Uh, but yeah, as for the actual wave itself, there are a few standout sets here, those being the Temple and the Combo Mech. A few good but not super memorable sets, those being the Lloyd Dragon and the two cars. 
and then some, well, bad sets, those being the smaller dragons. So yeah, overall, I think this is a decent wave, but it's not the best ever. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys are planning to get. Personally, I think I'll go for the two biggest sets. And um, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, share with anyone and everyone you know. Share your thoughts on these sets below, and I'll see you guys next time.